hello friend welcome to my youtube channel mechanical design alta so in this video uh, we will discuss what is meant by sliding contact bearing the classification of sliding contact bearing construction and working principle we will understand and then we will discuss advantage and the disadvantage okay so uh, this topic means uh, uh, under the sliding contact bearing we will discuss this one and the types of sliding contact bearing just we will uh, quickly touch the uh, what are the different sliding contact bearing and in the next video uh, in the separate in the separate video we will discuss in detail about the types of sliding contact bearing so for today's we will cover these four points okay so let's start the video so what is been by sliding contact bearing okay so in general the bearing okay so the bearing is the machine element which support the shaft okay and allows the motion okay so uh, so this uh, bearings are divided into two categories like uh, rolling contact bearing and the sliding contact bearing so the rolling contact bearing so we will start quick uh, means uh, the uh, series about the rolling contact bearing also so we have prepared the uh, content related with the sliding contact bearing like uh, types and other lubricants so we have the means upcoming videos so this one is the first video so here we have uh, means captured the content related with the sliding contact bearing and le uh, later on we will uh, discuss the content related with the uh, rolling contact bearing okay so coming to the topic okay the bearings are divided into two categories like a rolling contact bearing and the sliding contact bearing okay in the rolling contact bearing we use the rollers okay rollers in terms of ball bearing and the cylindrical rollers okay here you can see the ball balls are the rollers okay so here we have the means uh, point contact and the line contact so uh, if he here it is a ball then it is point contact and uh, point contact is there and in case of roller bearings so we have the line contact but in case of sliding contact bearing you can see here this one is the housing housing of the bearing and this one is the uh, you can see the the means bush bearing or the journal bearings or the sleeve bearing or linear bearing or a guide bearing or the uh, plane bearing so these are the different name of the sliding contact bearing okay so these bearings having the surface contact okay and be, uh, surface contact with the shaft okay and a shaft or you can say journal okay journal and the shaft both are the same term we use in the sliding contact bearing so for particularly sliding contact bearing we use the term journal okay and but uh, for easy understanding you can consider as a shaft okay so the shaft diameter will come here and uh, on this journal will fit on it and you can see uh, here because of the surface contact so lubricant plays a very important role okay because because of the sliding um, because of the complete surface contact here the friction will be more and because of that the wear wearing of the uh, bearings and wearing of the shaft which is uh, possibility is there so to reduce that wear or the friction we use the lubricant okay so lubricant in terms of uh, refine uh, in terms of mineral oil uh, and vegetable oil silic uh, silicon oil uh, grease okay so these are the different lubricant we use so here you can see this is the hole from which the lubricant will come into uh, the gaps between the bearing and the shaft surface or you can say the clearance between the uh, 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 bearing and the shaft okay so these bearings are uh, lightweight and generate the less vibration and noise compared with the rolling bearing okay so 
and the application of the sliding contact bearings are in a uh, like a construction like a support for the bridges and the precision tooling and in a high precision machinery is also the sliding contact bearings uses and in a turbine a turbines and the steam engines like that okay so let's understand in details like uh, okay so this is the construction uh, here you can see uh, like uh, here the complete uh, bearing housing is there okay outer side and later it is uh, be journal bearing is there okay you can see the journal bearing and the inside it is general journal means it is a shaft okay so journal means shaft so shaft and the bearing and between that the clearance is maintained so this clearance is maintained for the lubrications okay so here you can see the inlet oil for the lubrications and uh, in on the uh, bearing also there is an uh, oil port is there oil port is there and from that oil port we pass the lubricant between this clearance okay so you can see here uh, if uh, the lubrication is not a proper then the wearing of the bearing will be there okay because of the complete friction of the surface okay so here the working principle is like that so we have seen so this one middle portion this one is the journal or the shaft and the outer portion it is a bearing and this one is the clearance between the inside surface of the shaft and the bearing so when the shaft uh, rotates okay so when the shaft here you can see the clockwise rotation so when the shaft is rotated okay the pressure will built up on the uh, the gradually the pressure pressure is built up uh, on the lubrication and uh, and the uh, after building the pressure this pressure lift the shaft okay so this pressure lift the shaft and it reduces the eccentricity okay so in the first case you can see the eccentricity between the uh, bearing and the journal or the shaft is more uh, compared to the last case while the working okay so this case is at the rest and this case is at the Oh, this at the running okay full uh, uh, means full working okay so you can see here so while working so it will lift and eccentricity between these two will be reduces okay so this is the simple working of the uh, um, sliding contact bearing okay so in sliding contact bearing we don't use any rolling elements so, so this uh, the construction of the solid core contact bearing is a simple and uh, easy design okay so here you can see uh, the classification of the bearing so the bearings are classified based on the load supported and the nature of contact so based on the load supported bearings are classified into radial bearing and the thrust bearing okay and so uh, the radial bearings are radial bearings means those bearing which supports the radial loads okay so generally the two loads will come on the uh, bearing like uh, axial load axial load on the sham and the radial load okay so the bearing which support the radial load is called i mean uh, uh, those bearings are the radial bearings uh, like a deep groove bearing ball bearing uh, cylindrical uh, uh, roller bearing and needle bearing so these are the uh, example of the radial bearings and the thrust bearing okay so the thrust bearing means which sub uh, be, uh, means which bearing supports the axial load okay so those bearings which are supporting the axial load uh, those bearings are called as thrust bearing okay and the main function of the thrust bearing is to uh, uh, resist any axial force applied to the rotor or you can say shaft and maintain its position okay so this is the purpose of the thrust bearing so it will maintain the alignment or position with the bearing 
and also support the axial load okay so this one is a uh, bearing which uh, on the uh, based on the load supported and uh, the bearing uh, based on the nature of contact so the bearings classified on the basis of nature of contact and uh, in that category there is a sliding contact bearing because here the surface contact is there and in the rolling contact bearing we have the uh, point contact is there or the line contact is there you can say so sliding contact bearing generally called as a frictional bearing and here you can see there is a no rollers or the uh, rotating elements okay here in that okay so here uh, there is no rollers roller element and uh, the fric uh, sliding contact bearing generally we called as a frictional bearing okay and here the friction will be more here actually okay but it is easy to design easy to means uh, ma uh, manufacturing point of view because of the less uh, uh, components is there okay just as the it's a type one type of bush okay or generally we call it as a bush bearing also okay so the rolling contact bearing is the anti frictional bearing so here in that uh, the rolling contact bearing further classified into ball bearing and the roller bearings okay so there are different types of ball bearing also and the roller bearings also okay that we will cover in the uh, upcoming videos okay so today we will discuss the sliding contact bearing uh, only and we will focus on this topic only okay so now here you can see as i told you that general uh, we can say journal bearing or the slew bearing okay slew bearing bush bearing anything okay so it is uh, on the base of design so it is further uh, i mean uh, divided into three categories like uh, full journal bearings where we have the complete contact okay so we are covering 360 degree okay okay so here you can see the bearing is completely uh, covering the uh, journal or the shaft okay and we have the partial <coughs> partial journal bearings okay where we have covered the uh, shaft uh, 120 degree okay and then fitted journal bearings okay in both the case uh, the full journal bearings and the partial journal bearings we will maintain the uh, uh, means clearance between the surfaces and uh, you can see the fitted uh, journal bearings where uh, when the partial journal bearings has no clearance that is the diameter of journal and the bearings are equal then the bearing is called as fitted bearings okay so there is a no clearance okay in the fitted journal bearings okay and here you can in the picture you can see that so on this uh, here the four uh, this bearing is there okay four bearings are attached so in that case so with the help of this bearing we can move this in this way okay we can slide over this shaft okay or slide over this uh, component okay like that so this one is the bearing bush bearing or you can say journal or the sleeve bearing so there are number of uh, uh, term or the number of uh, uh, means uh, uh, name we call the sliding contact bearing like a journal bearing or sleeve bearing you can say okay so these are the uh, in terms of uh, geometry or the in terms of contact it is divided into full journal bearing and the partial journal bearing and the fitted journal bearings okay so here we can see the description actually okay so the full journal bearing is having the 360 degree contact and use in the industrial machineries to accommodate the bearing load in a radial direction okay and the journal part uh, journal i mean partial journal bearings it is uh, having the 120 degree contact with the shaft and having the less friction compared to the full journal bearings okay so uh, uh, it is used where the load is always in the one direction that is a, a re, uh, example you can see so it is used in the railroad car axle okay and the full and the partial journal bearings may uh, may call the clearance bearing because of the diameter 
object journal is less than the uh, that of bearing okay so full and partial journal bearings having the clearance between the bearing and bearing surface and the shaft surface and uh, okay so in both the case full and the partial we have the clearance we maintain but in fitted we have no clearance actually it is completely fitting okay so it is called as the fitted journal bearings okay so the advantage coming to the advantage and the disadvantage of the sliding contact bearing so uh, uh, the sliding contact bearing because of the simple design so it will cost less okay and they operate more silently so this is the uh, um, main advantage uh, of the uh, sliding contact bearing because it has in the simple design less uh, cost and the more silently it will work okay and the low uh, uh, the load capacity uh, of the shock is very high okay so they uh, they have the good shock load capacity okay and the design of the bearing and housing is simple okay and they because it is a simple like a bush okay okay and they occupy the less radial space and uh, uh, are more compact okay so because of uh, only the thickness is there radially it is having uh, uh, means uh, uh, it will occupy the less space okay compare with the uh, rolling contact bearing okay so they are ideally suited for medium and high speed operations okay and the coming to the disadvantage of the sliding contact bearing so uh, the friction power is uh, means the frictional power loss is more so because of the uh, surface friction okay uh, or the surface contact so there is a power loss okay so we need to focus on the lubrication mechanism okay so the continuous lubrication should be uh, provided okay so that the uh, we can reduce the frictional losses okay so they are uh, they are normally designed to carry the radial load or the axial load only so the sliding contact bearing so generally it is uh, it's a design oh, only for the means radial or only for the axial load only okay so uh, coming to this uh, topic types of sliding contact bearing so the you can see here the sliding contact bearing having the number of types here okay like uh, hydrodynamic lubricated bearings and in the hydrodynamic lubricated bearings so uh, there are two types like a wedge flame general bearings squeeze flame general bearings and then we have the solid general bearings bush bearings split bearings thrust bearing so in the thrust bearing like a foot step bearing and the collar bearing so uh, these are the types of bearing and these types are uh, uh, means based on the lubrication mechanism so based on the lubrication mechanism we use for the bearings so these types are uh, classified or uh, based on that uh, these are the types of the bearing okay based on the lubrication mechanism we are using for the uh, bearings okay so this topic types of sliding contact bearing uh, uh, the next video i will upload so in that we will cover all the updates so we can see that we will in the next video i'll upload the uh, types of sliding contact bearing and later we will discuss uh, related with the uh, uh related with the lubrications okay so i have prepared the uh, number of topics related with the sliding contact bearing and uh, once we complete uh, once we complete the sliding contact bearing in detail okay later we will uh, we'll discuss the rolling contact bearings and we will start from basic uh, what is by rolling contact bearing it's a type uh, life of the rolling contact bearing likewise we will go okay so from simple topic to advanced topic we will cover the rolling contact bearing also okay so so friend uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel okay so thank you for watching see you in the next video